Well, hello. Welcome back to Wisdom Wednesday. This is Johnny Tiger. The date is May 13, 2020. Week number 10 of the coronavirus, staying at home, social distancing, saving the world while staying away from people. All that good stuff. You know, I uh, actually had a really busy day today and I went through most of the day uh, not really thinking about anything even remotely related to wisdom. (laughs) So when it was time to record today's video, I had a brief moment of panic. Oh man, I I have to make Wisdom Wednesday, but I have nothing wise to uh, talk about Um, but then I decided I want to talk about virtues more specifically uh, what account for virtues in my culture in Chinese Mandarin well not like there's any other kind of Mandarin uh, so in Mandarin Chinese. Let me rephrase that. It's actually uh, uh, quite different. If you guys wondering why am I nitpicking about uh, the order of which come first, uh, because there's only really one Mandarin. Of course, that like different uh, accent and stuff like that. But Mandarin is Mandarin, while Chinese encompasses uh, at least 20 or 30 different dialects. Uh, there's a dialect that widely used in where I come from, Taiwan. Uh, we speak a dialect that's called Fukin. And there is a Cantonese, of course, everyone heard of Cantonese, and then there's Mandarin and a lot of other dialects. Um, China is so big, the Chinese culture is so vast that you can actually go from one province to another in China and you think you are in a different country where people are speaking in a foreign language you you have no idea what they are saying even when they are speaking Mandarin Um, when I went to China back in 2007 I experienced that firsthand Uh, when we were in eastern China I could understand people just fine Uh, I know a little bit of Cantonese and I speak very good Mandarin. So even though people there spoke Mandarin with a Cantonese accent, I could understand them no problem. But then when we travel to Western China, the dialect is completely different. So the accent was completely different. And there was a few times where people asked, uh, is it because I was uh, from Canada? that I didn't speak Mandarin, I didn't understand Mandarin. And it was so awkward because I wanted to tell them, I understand Mandarin just fine. I just don't understand your accent, that's all. (laughs) Um, So anyway, I I digressed a little bit there. Um, Talk about virtue in Mandarin. In Mandarin, virtue is Dao de, Dao de, D-A-O, D-E. And there are five virtues that are uh, recognized. And these are very interesting because some of them don't even have a strict English translation. The, uh, we can only come as close as we can uh, with some of these words. But... Uh, you'll probably get a better idea of what I'm talking about as we progress. Anyway, Dao De, there's five virtues, five Dao De in my culture, in the Chinese culture. And not only that, they are a bit different from what we are used to in the Western culture, in Canadian or American or British culture. even the order that they are listed makes a big difference. Uh, 
啊、uh, ，the five virtues, the five 道德 ，yes， 忠 ，j o n g， 孝 ，x i o， 仁 ，r e n， 义 ，y e， and i。A I， 忠孝仁义爱 ，and they have to go in that order. Ah,、uh, going by the tradition, because sometimes the virtue come into conflict. Let's say, ah,、uh, if you want to be honest to someone, then you are going to ah、uh, end up being unkind. So let's say if honesty and kindness are both virtues, what will you do when you have to break one to obtain the other? Well, Chinese culture laid it out for you. Very simple. If you have to achieve, uh, if you have to break zhong to achieve yi, then forget about yi because zhong is the number one. It's the first. 忠孝仁义爱义 is number four. So you do not uh, uh, break the first one to、uh, obtain the fourth one. You always go by the order that they are listed. So 忠 is virtue number one. Ah,、uh, the most important virtue. Ah,、uh, the most ah、uh, ah、uh, ultimate. Ah,、uh, the 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 biggest, the highest, the ah、uh, alpha. Uh, so what is this zhong that is so important? Some people say it's loyalty, and that is kind of right and kind of wrong, because if you plug the word zhong into the dictionary, then yes, it's going to come out as、uh, loyalty. So people think so loyalty is the first virtue. That's cool. But that's not it. In the way it was、uh, passed down from generation to generation, the word "zhong" in this case actually is loyalty to your country. In another word, "zhong" means patriotism. So your love, your loyalty for your country comes first in the Chinese culture. Everything else have to go. Uh, after that, everything else is inferior to that. If you got to、uh, sell your house to be patriotic, then sell your house. If you got to kill yourself to be patriotic, then kill yourself. If you got to kill your parents to be patriotic, then you kill your parents. As long as your goal is to be patriotic, you are right as far as、uh, being virtuous go. In My culture. Now, I don't want to give you the wrong idea that it's、uh, so rigid that everyone thinks that way and everything is done that way.、Uh, because as we step into the modern world, these rules have been relaxed more and more and more. However, it was not too long ago, that、uh, maybe only a hundred years ago, that Chinese people were judged. By these rules, and had to live their life according to these rules. So when I say,、uh, if you if you have to kill your parents to be patriotic, well, obviously you can't do that now. Like now, <laughs> you kill your parents, you go to jail,、uh, you get death penalty in、uh, both China or Taiwan.、Uh, but a hundred years ago, if you killed your parents, and If you could prove that you did it to be patriotic to your country, maybe your dad was a spy for another country. Maybe your mom was selling your country secret to to someone else.、Uh, if you could prove that you had a patriotic motivation, that would get you scot free. Like you you wouldn't even have to go to jail. You would probably even get an award for it back then. So, Zhong patriotism has always been、uh, the the utmost important virtue in the Chinese culture. 
Xiao. Now the word Xiao, X I O, Xiao. Virtue number two. It's very, very interesting because Xiao technically doesn't even have an English translation. The closest we can come to is love and respect for your parents. But that is not even strong enough to describe the virtue of Xiao. The virtue of Xiao basically means you do anything to keep your parents happy, no matter what kind of parents they are. You can have a dad or a mom that abuses you every day, but that doesn't matter. In the traditional way, in the traditional Chinese culture, Chinese virtue, Xiao goes one way. You are the son. You are the daughter. You have to obey, be nice, make them happy, no matter what.、Uh, and it is the most important virtue. Only after it's it's it, it right next to Zhong.、Uh, so if you are、uh, if you have to pick patriotism over your parents, then patriotism comes first. But Taking patriotism out of the picture, then parents,、uh, how you treat your parents, was the utmost important、uh, and sought after virtue. In fact, again, we go back to only a hundred years, maybe eighty years into、uh, Chinese culture. That if a child was to、uh, Be not nice to his or her parents. Let's say this child come home and argue with his parents every day. Let's say this child come home and、uh, bring home grief to his parents. The parents could actually go to the magistrate or the local authority and say, "My son or my daughter has broken the virtue of Xiao. I want them to be executed." And that would be done, a hundred years ago, eighty years ago.、Uh, sound kind of cool, right? Like, you know, if your if your kids bad mouth you or talk back to you, you can say, "Hey, cut it out! If you don't be、uh, be good, if you are don't you give me issue, give me trouble, I'm going to go tell the magistrate magistrate to put you down, chop off your head." <laughs> um, so. The virtue of Xiao has always been a big thing, and like I said, it does not matter how the parents were. The parents could be the most evil people in the world, but it didn't matter. You were their kids. You have to observe the virtue of Xiao. Again, that does not apply、uh, that much today. However, an interesting little trivia is in Taiwan. In Taiwan, uh. An aging parent can actually demand allowances from his or her children. So let's say they have three kids. They can say, "Okay, all three of you have to give me、uh, $500 a piece every month." And if the kids do not comply, the parent can still take them to court for、uh, breaking the virtue of Xiao in Taiwan even today. How do I know that? Because my dad tried to do that to me. That's why. Ah,、uh, anyway. Virtue number three, ren, r e n, r e n, ren. This is another hotly debated virtue. Ah,、uh, what is it? A lot of people say it means mercy. And some people say it means kindness. And、some people say it means being humble, but they're all right. They're all wrong at the same time because it encompasses、oh, so much. The idea of Zhen, it basically means being a decent human being. Now, isn't that interesting? That Chinese people put patriotism and put、uh, obedience. And love and respect for your parents above being a decent human being, but that is the way Chinese culture is. So Zhen,、um, those of you who study up on Confucianism、uh, will 
know about that. Confucius was the biggest teacher of the virtue of zhen. Ah,、uh, zhen means being forgiving, being truthful, being kind, being humble, and being ah、uh, ready to accept your faults when someone else points them out. Ah,、uh, basically, being human, having humility, that's the virtue of zhen. Now, this. One is one of the harder one to follow, because everyone's definition of zhen is a little bit different. So if I do something, I think I'm being humble, but other people think I'm not. Then it's up to interpretation. Am I a virtuous person as far as zhen is concerned? This is why it's ah、uh, the idea of zhen has more been a、uh, a a topic for. Philosophy than anything else. There's never actually been laws or、uh, rules set that、uh, if you break the virtue of zhen, you have to、uh, suffer this or suffer that.、Um, people tend to believe that、um, if you break this virtue, if you lack this virtue, you will be punished by your peers, or you will be punished by people around you.、Uh, This is also why Zhong and Xiao, the first two virtues, were called big virtues, and the Zhen, Yi, Ai, the last three, were called small virtues. When you break the big virtue, the law could punish you. When you break the small virtue, the last three,、uh, it was up to your friends and your family to. Discipline you to punish you. So that's Zhen. Virtue number four, E Y E.、Uh, loosely interpreted, E means to、uh, have、uh, be noble, have faith, and in your friend, and be nice to your friend, be trustworthy. I think that is the best. Interpretation is to be trustworthy、uh, to your friend, but again, like Zhen, Yi goes way beyond that. Let me give you an example.、Um, if my friend need food, and I buy my friend food, that is not Yi. That is just me being nice. That falls more under Zhen because that's kindness. However, E means if my friend breaks the law and need to be sheltered, and I shelter him, I am doing that because of the virtue of E. If I don't shelter him, if I turn him into the law, then I break the virtue of E. This is why in Chinese culture you will see a lot of people breaking the law for their friend. A lot of people do some ridiculously stupid things just for friendship. They're not really doing that for friendship. They're doing that because the tradition said if you don't do it, then you are not a virtuous person. You break the virtue.、Uh, of course,、uh, since the virtue of Zhong Xiao Ren come before Yi, so you have to kind of make sure that. When you're breaking rules for your friend, you're not offending those three virtues at the same time.、Uh, like I said, the order of things is very strict in these、uh, tradition, in these、uh, Chinese virtues, in this Dao De Dao De. So E means to be able to sacrifice yourself for your friend, to be able to uh, do uh, crazy things for your friend, to、uh, to put out. For your friend,、uh, a lot of gangland murders in Taiwan, in Hong Kong, in China happen because someone broke the virtue of E.、Uh, to break the virtue of E is usually viewed as the biggest betrayal, especially among criminals,、uh, among、uh, gangsters. So. Uh, that is 
something that's very important in the uh, crime culture, in the underworld culture, uh, that the virtue of E is often uh, the most cherished. Because if you have a friend who is very virtuous and in observing the virtue of E, then you know he can be counted on, she can be counted on, no matter what happened. You need them to do this for you, they'll do it because they are so virtuous. Uh, on the other hand, people who do not believe in or do not follow the virtue of E, well, then they are going to be tattletales. They are going to be, um, uh, uh, they are not going to be trustworthy. They are going to turn you in to the police and stuff like that. So, so uh, people tend to go out of their way to get rid of those people in the underground underworld culture in the Chinese tradition. And last but not least, I, AI, simply mean love. And this is kind of sad when I think about this because they put uh, patriotism, they put respect to your parents, they put uh, uh, being kind and merciful and forgiving, and they put uh, being able to sacrifice yourself for your friend, all of that above love. So basically, in Chinese culture, the idea of love is ranking quite low, <laughs> no matter if in virtue or in uh, other situations. Uh, love, well, this one doesn't really need any explanation. Basically means uh, you love your children, you love your wife, you love your husband, uh, you love animal, you love the world, uh, you love uh, uh, strangers, you show strangers kindness. Um, although that touches on the territory of Zhen. Uh, but when you are being merciful to someone, as in the case of Zhen, it, you don't necessarily love them. Now, a person who follows the virtue of love, they truly feel it in their heart. So again, the five virtues, Zhong, Xiao, Ren, Yi, Ai. Patriotism, respect and obedience towards your parents, being a good, decent human being, being a trustworthy friend, and then last but not least, being a loving person. Those are the five virtues in my culture, the five virtues that were uh, drummed into my head when I was growing up and I believe uh, seem to a lot of other Taiwanese and Chinese children. This is also why that um, some people find the Chinese culture so hard to understand because as you can see in the five virtues there's nothing that talk about being faithful to your wife, there's nothing that talk about uh, not stealing, the nothing that says, um, talk about uh, being successful uh, or being noble or uh, being honest. So those things that we see as virtue in the Western culture, in the Chinese culture, for the most part, they don't really uh, care about those things. It's nice if you have it, but if you don't, as long as you still have the zhong xiao ren yi ai, as long as you still observe the five virtues, that's cool, that's good. Uh, if you have to cheat on your wife to be uh, patriotic, then by all means, cheat on your wife. If you got to cheat on your husband because that would make your parents happy, then cheat on your husband. If you got to uh, uh, cheat on your spouse because uh, that would make another person happy and that would uh, be merciful, then you cheat on your spouse. If you got to lie uh, to keep your friends safe, if you got to break the law to keep your friends safe, then by all means, break the law. If you, uh, if you got to, uh, uh, if you got to lie to someone because you love them so much, then by all means, lie to them. That is, uh, basically a quick and loose way of me interpreting and giving you a, a glimpse into the five virtues.
in the Chinese culture, the five Dao De, Zhong Xiao Ren Yi Ai. And remember, they have to go in that order. Thank you for checking out today's Wisdom Wednesday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Toy Thursday. For now, stay safe, stay strong, and have a good night.